What's Welcome. up? <laughs> oh, I thought our energy was like going deep. Oh, I don't know. Ahead. I just do whatever the oh, hell I want. You're right. Who even you, cares? You're right. You do do that. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Of a moral support. <laughs> yes. Our intro is a little rough. Who cares? It don't matter. Anyways. We got some breaking hot tea right now, y'all. It's busting the doors down right now. Can't say I didn't see it coming. I know. Like... I don't know. It's like it's something to talk about, but for me, I'm just kind of like whatever we about all it knew because I. It's like so we knew they just didn't we, say it, but you don't need to say it. It's like Little Richard not telling people that he's gay. Like, all right, you don't have to announce it either. <laughs> you know? Um. So what we're talking about specifically mm. is um the divorce filing of Cardi B to um for uh between her and Offset. She says they've been separated for a while. Um. I wonder mm. what a while is to her. Exactly, because if I'm not mistaken, they were on live together. Really? Yeah, not too long ago. A couple weeks ago, maybe. And then earlier this year, there was a whole, um, that funny ass video where like he hears Cardi coming, and then he hurries up and he's fumbling his phone mm -hmm. in his pocket and stuff. And um, the thing with the girl where um, he was still talking to the bitch that she's mm. having a court case with. I mean, where do you have any respect? Where do you draw the line? Which leads me to believe that this is solely a thing. And I've been saw that because he's mm. not a dumb man. First of all, no, he not. graduated, I think valedictorian or very high in his class in Gwinnett County in Georgia. So it's a very nice, nice area in Georgia. Mm -hmm. And she's really hood. Like she really does the shit or has done the shit that she's rapping about. Where do you have anything in common? He saw an opportunity and he acted on it. He got himself involved because he married her like, like that. On the and come up. And got her pregnant quick. On the come up. Right. And I know it was very much a thing. He saw the money. He knows how the couple is. Remember moments where like Cardi was just now coming in and shining and would be on stage mm -hmm. and he lingering in the back trying to get it or mm -hmm. he'll pump him again, which is fine because that's your husband. But like it was an agenda. And now that the agenda is accomplished, what else is left? Mm -hmm. But to cheat. <laughs> but to really fall in love or really meet someone, you know, you're probably bored. He didn't had babies before. He didn't been with somebody before. Yeah. All of this is new to you. He's been right. famous, you mm -hmm. know. Um, What's crazy to me is uh, um, one of his baby mamas, I think it's the one of his oldest son. She actually was like, Cardi changed offset. Like he became a better man. He became a better father when he mm. met Cardi B. So it's like, damn, what happened, dude? Like. The excitement's dying down a little bit. Because mm. when niggas get on for a ride at the beginning, mm -hmm. the excitement of it all, it's not going to always be that. Damn. And you have to be able to survive each other and love each other enough through that to stick together. Mm -hmm. Especially after a baby, new career, allegations, <laughs> postpartum, right? And like, think about all of the things that they really, new marriage. Mm -hmm. Like, that's a lot of new stuff. Changing yeah. locations. They moved down to Georgia. Like, there's yep. a lot of different stuff. Cardi don't know nobody down here. She got nothing to do but check off offset phone and pockets and, mm -hmm. and um, Ashley Darby uh, swag, mm. <laughs> fashion, mm. smelling drawers or whatever. Damn. She got nothing else to do. So now she has to look that shit in the face and say, wow, I, I got to be honest. You're not going to stop doing this. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what I do, who I am, what I have or what I look like. It's more about you i yeah. hope i hope that's what it was i that hope that's realized. what she's saying because yeah i then realize that that it don't have nothing to do with you cardi mm. and it's everything that offset just may have access to yeah and like niggas know him from down here and it's so funny mm. funny we live in georgia somebody was talking about um going to high school with him i know somebody went to off uh, school with takeoff too mm -hmm. but um he was saying that he was just really unattractive like when no bitches studying him or worried about him or nothing i can see that so it's <laughs> like when he got famous he probably went cr like there all this attention like he went crazy can you imagine being ugly all your life or feeling mm. that way mm. not getting attention and then all of a sudden you've got like every bitch access. at your hands you know what yeah. i'm saying it's like Wow. Right. And so I feel like they're fairly new as well. I mean, they're not that new, but you know what I mean? They're mm -hmm. they're up and coming. They're not like, they ain't been here that long. Right. I don't feel. So he probably was still trying to soak his oats and get used to the, the celebrity lifestyle. life and what's yeah. coming and what's this and that. But I'm not going to create no excuses. It's wrong. How do you even end up messing with some bitches that even have anything to do with your wife? Like, what are you doing? What are you You have for? a name for yourself, what for you one. How are you not careful? 
with it. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. it's not right in any instance to go and cheat on your wife. <laughs> I literally thought that Tristan Thomas <laughs> had um, some mental health mm. things that he was dealing. I mean, I'm not even trying to be funny about it, but like, mm. we're, have you not been here the past few months? Like, exactly. you're kind of famous. And you're just moving all willy nilly, like you just, you're just weird. yeah. That's that's always been weird to me with celebrity male celebrities. Yeah, you can tell when it's agenda driven, especially when they're married. That, right. Not to say that men don't settle down and stuff, but you, if you are a celebrity living a certain life and doing certain things, like I would just, I don't know, I would be mindful before saying, mm-hmm. oh yeah, I'm gonna marry you and da da da. She should have mm-hmm. took her time, and she knows. Luckily, it. I think there's she knows a prenup. It. There is a prenup according to the TMZ article right. so hopefully everything could be amicable they split it down 50 50 and just keep it moving i think it will but well i'm it, not it sure depends on who has more if cardi has more it won't be amicable yeah if he has more it will be yeah that's my opinion i think so let's watch i don't see. think it's ever going to be amicable because she tried to leave him before and we saw how that turned out on the power he Hot showed 97. up on the stage breathing hard and staring at her with some roses and kick or whatever he did like Ambushed her in the middle of a stage and I hated the in the middle a of a trend. show. Yeah, first of all, it's disrespectful. Mm. I got a whole fucking set, and I'm a goddamn artist myself. How mm-hmm. dare you? You you messing with my money at this point? I'm trying to put on the show, and you got some personal shit. What you do is you wait backstage for me, and you support the shit out of me. Exactly. And you be there till I'm ready he to ambushed her because he up. knew he knew he fucked up. You bro. fucked up, right? And it, with all those people watching, she still has some respect for that man to she, not just tell him to get the fuck on. Him. I will say that. Yeah, yep. I feel I I feel that way. If there's any incidents where you saw that like that's not true, or you feel completely mm-hmm. opposite, or or we're missing something, let us know. But I feel like she's always been respectful and had his back. Absolutely. Like, y'all remember not too long ago there was this whole thing um, where there was some stuff on his page or whatever that was inappropriate or messages to girl directly immediately the first thing in the morning. It's Cardi B, not even him. Mm. Oh, his page is hacked. His offsets had. He laying right here. Girl, stop. Like, mm. it was it was literally, like, so clear to everybody, like, Cardi, he didn't get hacked. Yeah. I don't know who gave him that idea or which one of his homeboys pretended, like, you know, but you got to start. How many times you going to get hacked, nigga? How many times are you going to play the fool? Mm, mm, mm. How many times? Cardi B and Offset are divorcing. Wow. Ooh. Cardi's life is about to change. Because she already said from the first breakup, mm. like, oh, yeah, a lot of celebrities slid in my DMs and stuff. And remember, mm-hmm. um, Offset and Chris Brown kind of have that little beef. Yeah, that little whatever, beef type situation. Because he tried to talk to um, Karuchi. Mm-hmm. And you know Chris Brown don't play about that. And then um, that when they Quavo. had that issue. That was Quavo? Quavo. So then why did he say that he would, um, he would buy her some flowers? And he was talking about basically, like, wooing Cardi B. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there were some there were some issues with Offset. We, we'll pull it up, but yeah, I'm sure about that one too. So that's, that's crazy. Weird. Yeah, she, your uh, issue wasn't even with Offset; it was with Quavo. So why would you? Yeah, that's weird. That's and I weird. think that's, that's what weird. people meant. Like she's really annoyed with people, or like Nikki, like being like it's a little too early for that. Mm-hmm. It's very too early. Mm-hmm. Like her opportunities, her life could be different. You never know who mm-hmm. she could have actually grown up and been like, I, I want to be with you mm-hmm. because she's kind of surpassing this guy. Yeah. Definitely. Like, she should have saw in that moment, like, oh, shit, I'm something to... Yep. Hold on, let me think about it. Let me take a second. Yeah. And that's what we do a lot as black people. We, oh, you've been there before I had everything, so you deserve to be there. But sometimes you outgrow people. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. And I feel like she's outgrowing him. She's growing up. Mm-hmm. She's growing up and said, I'm not going to be doing this. I'm worth more. I got this going on. Good for you, Cardi B. Good for you. Seriously. I hope everything yeah. works out for her. Because there's nothing like, we talk about it and stuff, you know, mm-hmm. celebrity and gossip, but there's nothing like like your family being, that is a big step for her to take and say, all right, I'm going to go ahead yeah. and file these papers because I, like, I'm sure you're not going to stop now. Mm-hmm. Or things just cannot be fixed. I feel like the offset prep may have, I wouldn't call it an issue because I hate mm. every time a celebrity male goes and cheat. It's, mm. oh, I have a sex addiction. A sex addiction. addiction. Some yeah. respect and space. <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah. You need to have more self-control exactly. and more respect for the woman that you're in love with. Mm-hmm. Come on. You got like four kids? You got four kids? You got the two girls and the two boys. Yep, you okay. got four kids, man. Come on. Come on, Offset. Get your shit together. You're going to try. 
He's mm. going to try. He might do another grand dress gesture. Of course. So we can look forward to that or whatever, I guess. To not but, look like such a fuck nigga. But sometimes... But I hope she stays firm in it. But even if she doesn't, like... I'm still happy too because it's a marriage and they have a kid and if mm-hmm. they can work through it, wonderful. Absolutely. But I, I'm sorry, y'all. I've been saying Offset's not gonna stop doing this shit. Once I started to see how like out loud and dumb he was, but the way he's moving, the bitches he chose. Come yeah. on. Yep. Selena Powell's and stuff. You don't even care. You don't even care. Man. Strippers that she used to work with and mm. stuff. You got your wife in lawsuits over this shit. Come mm. on. But yeah, it's definitely time to walk out the door. Definitely Tom. Relocate it for you. Like I saw and I've watched the different measures and stuff that she went through mm-hmm. to make sure that he was comfortable to accommodate him to keep things um, good. Yeah. And if it was me, I would have been done with Offset in the beginning when they did, um, what is that song? Look at me. Is that what mm. it is? Uh, look at me, look at me. Whatever. Something like that. Uh, when he tried to get her to pay him for doing his part on the and song, see, but y'all supposed to be together. I never knew that. That's she had crazy. to blast him, like say it, you know, on live, and it was more so to be like, "Ain't he tripping?" Mm. For you know, for him to be like, "Oh, my bad. Come on." Damn. I don't know. And how they met? How they met each other? He was like, "Oh, I see you doing your thing. Like you, you blowing up. But mm-hmm. hey, let me show you how to get it this way." And that's how they built their relationship. So it makes sense that business was first. Business Ooh. was first. And it's not a terrible thing, but once your marriage comes into play, it can't. Nothing mm-hmm. else, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Your family, nothing else can be. I really, truly first. feel like he saw his marriage as a business opportunity. Right. For sure. Right. Yep. Shit gets real out here in the field. Um, was anybody wanting a Cardi B and Offset album? I'm just curious. That's just a thought. Mm. You know how they do that? Mm-hmm. Would anybody, would, you think that would sound good? Like we definitely like a like Big Cloud. Sean and Janae? They definitely mm-hmm. have good songs, but yeah. the Beyonce and Jay-Z, yeah. Mm. They definitely have um, musical talent, and I feel mm-hmm. like he probably even helps in some sort of ways too. Like when oh, they're together, yeah. they're both hot. You know, they yeah, both on yeah, yeah. So maybe we do. I didn't even think about that. Maybe mm. we do. Maybe they could get back together, and through the issues, you get yeah. good music. Mm-hmm. So you, I mean, you never know. I mean, I, overall, I would like it to work out for them to get figured out and stuff. More than anything, everybody needs to be happy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean with yep. themselves. Where they make at, sure that baby good. And right. keep it moving. Cutie. What a little toothbrush. <laughs> She's so cute. Culture. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So that's it, y'all. Good luck, black family. I want to see you do well. But I mean, you know, uh, come on, offset. I mean, we're just going to put all the evidence and stuff for y'all to see because yeah. it is kind of ridiculous. And she did hang in there for a while and even try to defend him. And mm-hmm. yeah, so. But yeah. That's the end of this video? It's the end of this video. I mean, it's really not much to talk about. We all saw it coming. We all saw it coming. We know what it is. Mm -hmm. We're just going to sit back and watch and see what happens. Yep. So thanks, guys, for tuning in to another episode. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We got some heat coming for y'all, so stay tuned. Stay tuned. The moral support. The moral support.